The Dawn Alliance formed by the human kingdom is like the sun in the sky, conquering everywhere, the noble elves that have been present since ancient times seem to have no ambition and hide in the Yongxia forest, the fourth prince of the Orc Emperor holds a strong and ambitious victory in the struggle for succession, under the deep sea, the Naga Imperial Court seems to be plunged into deeper turmoil in the corner of the continent of Lothar, the soul of a foreign land opened the eyes of a little. Golden Dragon I can understand the evolution of bloodlines, but what kind of ghost is Ing Long? Thea scratched his chin with his small paws, looking bewildered. This is a dragon legend that is neither scientific nor magical. Drawing on the settings of D&D, but with modifications, keywords of the novel. Evolving bloodline from golden dragon without pop-ups, evolving bloodline from golden dragon complete collection download, evolving bloodline from golden dragon latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. The Slave of the White Dragon. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1. The Slave of the White Dragon Lin Chen has been thinking, if he didn't go see some fish leap, wouldn't he not die? It is rumored online that there is a spectacular scene of fish leaping over the gate of the Jin Shan Grand Canyon. Just as Lin Chen, who was passing by nearby, had his DNA moved and he watched with great force. However, he unexpectedly slipped and fell into the water. After experiencing the pain of drowning, his consciousness fell into darkness, at least in Lin Chen's sense, it had been a long, long time. Just as Lin Chen felt like he had become a vegetative, his senses were restored. Pain. Intense pain. Lin Chen felt his head almost crack open, and his whole body seemed to have been run over by a mud cart. My chest is heavy and I can't breathe. Just why, besides the trunk and limbs, there are also a few more limbs in the area where it feels painful. Before even thinking, Lin Chen instinctively opened his eyes and saw the environment he was currently in. The snow.white ground is built with cold ice, surrounded by rocks covered with solid ice, and the dome is adorned with sharp ice cones. Under the ice cone lay a terrifying behemoth. A streamlined figure close to 20 meters tall is covered in white scales, with a hint of gray-blue mixed in. The slender neck was pressed against the icy floor in front of him, and a dragon head with a bony neck crown was staring at Lin Chen. It seemed that Lin Chen, who had opened his eyes, was also frightened. His huge amber pupils suddenly shrank. Are you? Lin Chen was a bit confused. The huge object opposite him had a significant impact on him, and suddenly released some kind of pressure, as if one more glance would explode. Lin Chen, who was full of pain, instinctively lowered his head and dared not look again. Lowering his head, Lin Chen's figure was reflected on the smooth and icy ground. Surprisingly, it had a body shape similar to that of a massive creature in front of it, but its scales were yellow and its entire body was covered in ferocious wounds. Am I? Lin Chen was completely confused. Without time to think, a huge and trivial flow of information suddenly squeezed into Lin Chen's head. Roar! Lin Chen let out a scream and covered his head, rolling all over the ground. Lohir Continent Dragon Clan knowledge persists in training for 30 days to revitalize breathing ability. On the beauty of doghead people all kinds of information have become a mess in Lin Chen's mind. Every time a message is skipped, more information will flow in. For a moment, Lin Chen screamed uncontrollably. Lin Chen's screams did not arouse Rosia's pity. In fact, upon hearing these screams, her mood was actually good. Putting aside the pressure that had just been subconsciously released due to surprise, Rosia looked at the resurrected little golden dragon in front of her with great interest. After all, she only had a slight lack of control over her strength during training, and did not want this cheap son to die. As an adult white dragon, a top hunter of the Northern Ice Sheet, and the owner of the White Cliff, Rosia doesn't have much to worry about besides searching for treasure, and she has many hobbies and interests. For example, she can go out and stroll on a good snowstorm day, admiring the frightened expressions of those low-dot-level creatures struggling in the snow. If she is in a good mood, she may choose one or two to enjoy before eating them, after all, 
Women also need desserts when shopping for example, she would deliberately set bait to attract those dirty and greedy human adventurers to her hunting ground, send them to see the gods they longed for, and kindly help them keep their belongings safe. Don't misunderstand, the generous MS. Rosia won't embezzle their money. She guarantees to return it next time she sees them, and if there is another time for example, training a self-proclaimed righteous golden dragon cub that's right, Rosia controls a golden dragon cub. By chance, Rosia obtained a golden dragon egg and suppressed her strong desire to swallow it. Although the intelligence of the white dragon is relatively low, the intelligence of an adult white dragon is already equivalent to that of an adult human. She decided to let it hatch and domesticate it to become a servant of the great white dragon lady. Think about yourself as the most despised white dragon among the five color dragons, how wonderful it would be to have a golden dragon servant. Perhaps he will also receive the favor of the five color dragon mother Tiamat. Oho roared just as Rosia was fantasizing about the peak of dragon life, Lin Chen, who was rolling all over the ground, gradually subsided. The fusion of information in his mind gradually came to a halt, and Lin Chen was gasping for breath as if he had been rescued from drowning. The painful parts of his body were still trembling uncontrollably. While calming his mind, Lin Chen was digesting the message of his body owner in his mind. Well, in simple terms, I have traveled and changed species. Having read numerous Western fantasy novels, Lin Chen easily understood the current situation. The continent of Lohir is a place where the gods preach. There are many races, and extraordinary creatures are scattered throughout the mountains, seas, and earth. Political power struggles, racial conflicts, and religious disputes have always filled this world. Ordinary people can only live as ants, and strength is the only voice in this world. The good news is that he has become a golden dragon. Golden dragon, as a branch of the giant dragon, is a presence at the top of the food chain in the continent of Uar, a transcendent creature among all extraordinary creatures. Generally speaking, as long as you grow up safely and steadily, you can eat and drink spicy food as an adult. And the golden dragon has over 4,000 years of natural life, which is so crazy for Lin Chen, who was once a human. But before enjoying such a lifespan, there is still bad news, son of a bitch. I didn't expect you to still be alive. A sharp voice sounded in the ice cave, and upon seeing Lin Chen calm down, Rosia began to re-examine the little golden dragon in front of her, intentionally or unintentionally releasing the dragon power of her high dot ranking figure. Lin Chen let out a muffled groan, and his body collapsed on the ice in front of Bai Long with a thud under pressure, trembling uncontrollably, unable to express any pain. Although the golden dragon is much more noble in bloodline than the white dragon, Lin Chen, who is still a young dragon, still cannot resist the pressure of the adult white dragon. That's right, according to the memory of the true golden dragon, Theos Austin Rodfield, the owner of the body, he was a prisoner of this adult white dragon from birth. Rosia not only cast a restraining spell on him, but also frequently assaulted him. It was under her abuse that her predecessor, Theos, failed to survive and missed out on the dragon life. Theos, my son, you ungrateful offspring. It is me, the great white dragon Lady Rosia, who has truly allowed you to hatch and grow up to this day, not your hypocritical golden dragon parents. Rosia continued to release her pressure. Although Theos almost died, which surprised her a bit and made her regret for a while, seeing the little golden dragon awaken, the dragon's nature couldn't be suppressed. Give you another chance, submit to me, or die with your ridiculous hypocrisy. He he, Lin Chen sneered in his heart. Just kidding, I'm Golden Dragon. Golden Dragon. I, with a lifespan of over 4,000 years, am the backbone of the Metal Dragon and a steadfast and orderly kind. Hearted camp. You, with a lifespan of less than 2,000 years, are the crane tail of the five colored dragon and the beast of the evil camp. Live a face. I, Lin Chen, even if I die, I will never yield to evil forces. Your choice. The mother of the white dragon raised her slender neck high and looked down at Lin Chen, 
revealing a row of ferocious teeth at the corner of her mouth, which was particularly evil, but she felt a bit uneasy in her heart. Xiao Jinlong had a resolute expression on his face, his claws tightly gripping the ice on the ground, and his body slowly descended as if to make an ambush posture. Just as Rosia was feeling a bit disappointed and felt that Lin Chen still had to make a desperate effort. On the mother's side. Lin Chen slowly spat out two words and lay on the ground. Looking up again, revealing a mouth full of big white teeth. In his heart, Lin Chen slowly told himself that from now on, I am the golden dragon. Theos. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Special Bloodlines. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 Special Bloodlines The injury on my body has almost healed. Zayo's lay bored on an ice block slightly larger and flatter than his body. Swinging his tail, adapting to his extra limbs, while contemplating the life of the dragon. Since facing Rosia's threat six days ago, Theos chose to take it from his heart, and his life has been much better. Perhaps this cheap white dragon's mother is also afraid of Theos turning back. Rosia not only did not give him any love education these days, but also specifically instructed her own two little white dragons not to come and cause trouble. In addition, she feeds him food every two days. If the ex Theos were really alive, he might be moved and cry. After all, he was on the brink of starving before. The exhilarating surrender did not mean that Theos was ready to reopen. After eating and drinking, Theos began to contemplate the great cause of rebellion. According to my predecessor's memory, I am currently located on the northern ice sheet. This can also be inferred from Rosia's words during her previous imprisonment. The northern ice sheet is located in the northwest of the continent of Uar, with a year. round bitter cold and towering and steep snow capped mountains. This is the natural habitat and hunting ground of the white dragon. They usually blast out a cave as a nest under deep ice or on icy cliffs, and the dragon mother Rosia is no exception. Leaving aside the possibility of escaping from the hands of the dragon mother, the northern ice field is still dotted with supernatural creatures such as frost giants and ice elements. Even if I am caught by them, I am still dead. So for now, I can only temporarily make peace with Dragon Mother. After all, people are like knives and I am like dragon meat, and the situation is stronger than that of dragons. Surrender is only temporary, as long as we hold on to our development and development, Theos has confidence in escaping from the White Dragon Ice Cave. Because during these days of recuperation, Theos made a new discovery with a movement of his mind, an information panel emerged from Theos's perspective. Theos Austin Rodfield, Race. Mutated Golden Dragon, Inglong Bloodline, Level. Level 5 Dragon Bloodline Level. Dragon Transforming Stage, 1 out of 5, Blood Points. 0 out of 100 Skills. Dragon Transformation Classic, Beginner, Dragon Dance Drama, Beginner, Dragon Blood Throne Specialty. None Explanation. As a Golden Dragon, you have undergone a mutation and seem to have awakened some kind of bloodline power, but currently this bloodline power is very weak and there is still a lot of room for improvement. System That's right, this is exactly the system that Theos has been longing for. I didn't expect it to actually appear after talking for two days. These days, Theos has carefully studied his system and gained a preliminary understanding of it. This system currently seems to be closely related to its mutated bloodline, especially the suspicious word, Inglong bloodline. If Theos didn't understand correctly, it seems that this Inglong is the Inglong in the mythological legend of the past life. After all, judging from the lingering memory of this body, there is no dragon species called Inglong in the continent of Uar. Just why the dragon bloodline awakened, Theos couldn't figure it out. Is it because I accidentally jumped over the dragon gate when I fell into it and drowned? Or do you, as a descendant of the dragon, possess this gene? It's hard to say, but it's not important. What's important is that this blood system can help you become stronger. 
Theos could only rely on this system because he found that although he seemed to have inherited some of the memories from his predecessor, he had lost the dragon's inheritance. The so dot called inheritance of dragons is a way for dragons to inherit knowledge and power, triggered at birth. Dragons without triggering inheritance have low intelligence and greatly reduced growth potential, and can only be considered as dragon beasts. Theos, you weak and pitiful creature. The train of thought was interrupted, and Theos couldn't help but cover his face with his right paw. Here we go again as soon as the words fell, two white dragon cubs thumped and ran over. If it weren't for my mother's order, I would definitely peel off a few more scales from you. The shouting young dragon walked ahead, the size of a cow, trying its best to spread its wings and grin out as many teeth as possible. According to the dragon inheritance, this is a highly intimidating posture. The young dragon following behind is slightly smaller, and it is also learning from others, looking like a follower. These two young dragons are both born to the dragon mother Rosia, with one male and one mother and two siblings. The older sister's name is Millis, and the younger brother's name is Kavi. Millis, you wouldn't want to know the consequences of violating your mother's orders. Theos issued a warning. After obtaining the system, Theos also explored the information of these two young dragons, both at level 5. Three dragons were born after breaking their shells, with a time difference of less than half a year. Theos was the first, followed by Millis, both about four years ago. For by long, this age is about level 5. Of course, the former Sayos did not have the opportunity to grow normally. Not only was he provided with very little food, but he also suffered from abuse. At the age of over four, for the Golden Dragon, level five was already severely underdeveloped. Theos. Don't be too happy too early, my mother said, your good days are coming to an end. Milla squinted her slender dragon pupils, ignoring it. Do you have confidence and fearlessness? Theos pondered in his heart. As usual, whenever Theos carried out Rosia's command, it always made her return in frustration, but today it seems to be of no use. For by long, at the age of four, he is only about the intelligence of a human child. Whether it was taking advantage of Theos' weakness after being influenced by her mother in the past, or her recent self-disciplined behavior, Melee's and Kavi's actions were actually driven by Rosia's attitude. It seems that the mother is about to take action. Theos had a prediction in his heart. This is not surprising. Although Theos has already offered loyalty to Rosia, Rosia, as a dragon, cannot always let Theos live a life of clothing and food, even her own Millis and Kavi cannot. Okay, but everything will wait until the mother comes back. Theos said lightly. Two level five little white dragons are not a threat. In fact, if it weren't for the previous underdevelopment, Theos would not have been bullied like that. In the past few days, there has been an adequate supply of food, and Jinlong's strong physical fitness has quickly taken effect. His shriveled muscles have begun to plump up, and his wounds have basically healed. It is not difficult for Theos now to retaliate against the previous, revenge of 10,000 arrows, but he needs to consider Rosia's attitude. Moreover, the newly acquired skills also require an experimental subject Theos's golden pupils looked up and down at the two little ones in front of him, considering when to collect some interest. Milliston, who was stared at by Theos with an ambiguous gaze, felt as if she had no scales left and had been exposed. She couldn't help but shrink her neck, even her wings contracting a bit. Kavi behind her instinctively took a step back. The golden dragon and the white dragon are not naturally the same level of creatures. At least for now, Theos can still be considered a golden dragon. Just as Millis was thinking about whether to let it go today, the cold ice cave suddenly experienced a strong wind. Mother has returned. Kavi called out. He felt as if his sister in front of him also breathed a sigh of relief. The chaotic wind mixed with snowflakes poured in from the cave entrance, and then the light inside the cave suddenly dimmed. Rosia has returned. With a thud, first three ice-covered yaks were thrown in. 
Then, Rosia's massive body walked in from the cave entrance, and her electric gaze caught sight of the three small dragons facing each other. Theos dared not cause trouble and, together with Millis and Cavey, obediently lowered their bodies and called out, Mother. Rosia nodded, very satisfied. Theos, come with me for tomorrow's hunt. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 First Hunting You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 First Hunting After recovering from injuries, one naturally needs to work. It's pitiful to see that these days, in order to restore her body, Theos, who has an amazing appetite, can eat enough. Rosia is rare to be diligent. Laziness is the nature of dragons, especially the five-colored dragon. Yes, mother. Theos fully obeyed the command. Looking at the illusory panel in front of him, he was mentally prepared to endure humiliation for a long time. Rosia Gadeldo Ferbs, Race. White Dragon Level. 18 Dragon Specialization. Thick Scales, Enhanced Endurance, and Cold Perception Explanation. Adult White Dragons with Normal Development Corresponding to Their Age. Apart from relying on the powerful body of the dragon, it seems that he is not proficient in other combat methods. However, the dragon's bloodline is already strong enough, and her long life has stained her claws with blood. The throne built on the white cliff is already covered in bones. As a giant dragon, the white dragon is one of the few dragon species that cannot naturally enter the legendary realm after reaching adulthood, but its strength at level 18 is still strong, and most creatures cannot compete with it. Theos, it seems that you have recovered well. Rosia was amazed by Theos' physical recovery ability. Despite knowing the advantages of the Golden Dragon bloodline, it was somewhat exaggerated to recover most of his vitality in just six days. Damn Golden Dragon! But on second thought, this Golden Dragon was already a servant who obeyed her, and Rosia felt much better in her heart. Thank you very much for your mother's care. Theos respectfully said. What Rosia didn't know was that the bloodline advantage of the Golden Dragon certainly gave the body strong recovery ability, but the bloodline system also exerted a lot of strength. Very good. Rosia nodded, her gaze sweeping over Millis and the cave eye siblings who seemed to be somewhat gloating. You two are also going tomorrow. After speaking, Rosia ignored the three little dragons. Move to your frozen treasure pile and sleep with your eyes closed. Dinner. As soon as Theos saw Dragon Mother fall asleep, he immediately pounced on an ice-covered yak and indulged in it. The speed left Millis and her siblings a bit stunned. Is this Golden Dragon? The White Dragon Cubs have updated their understanding of the Golden Dragon a lot. The cold wind is piercing, and the snow is boundless. The year. Round ice, snowflakes, and razor sharp winds are the main themes in the depths of the northern ice sheet. Rosia's Lair White Cliff is located in the high altitude Alps of the northern ice sheet. The towering peaks seem to have been designed by gods, scattered around a valley area. The White Cliff is being built on the cliff of the highest mountain peak, and once it exits the entrance, the valley is fully visible from high altitude. Although there is severe cold, the radiance of the sun owes nothing to this land. At this time, it was noon, and the cold ice refracted the sunlight, making it even a bit dazzling, to the extent that the extremely cold valley seemed to evoke a faint illusion of warmth. This is a rare hunting moment for a population living in extreme cold. Upon closer inspection, at the edge of the valley, a group of barbarians were leading snow wolves meandering at the foot of the mountain, seemingly searching for something. Alina. It's too cold this year, I can't even find a few snow rabbits. Kuchulu couldn't help but curse. Alina is a vulgar word in barbarian language, and he has spoken dozens of words like this today. As a barbarian man living in the ice plain, Kuchulu has been hunting with his team since the age of 14, and after five or six years, he has become familiar with hunting techniques. But this year, the weather was unusually cold and the prey was scarce, so they had to take risks and approach the valley where the legendary dragons roamed. 
Dragons are usually asleep, which means that if they haven't offended the goddess of luck, their chances of encountering them are not high. Enough, Kuchulu. Any extra words will distract you from missing the trail of your prey. I have taught you that missing prey is unforgivable. A strong barbarian man located not far in front of Kuchulu turned around and began to scold. His figure is much more burly than the young Kuchulu, and his rough, weathered face looks very seasoned. The warm fur clothes were adorned with bows and arrows, bone daggers, and a large iron axe covered in battle marks on the back. He is the leader of this barbarian hunting team, and he is responsible for today's harvest. We must get enough prey as soon as possible, it's very dangerous here. Yes, respected Akunda. Kuturu revealed the leader's name. Facing all the teachers who taught him, Kuchulu dared not have any temper. Akunda scolded him, and then he didn't say a word. In order to quickly find the prey, Kuchulu rushed to the front of the team. In order to search for prey as much as possible, the barbarian companions dispersed to a relatively long distance and became farther and farther. Kuchulu couldn't help but walk forward, and when he turned around, he could only barely see his respected teacher Akunda. Just as time passed, Kuchulu couldn't help but feel a sense of anxiety or unease in his heart. The hungry snow wolf still worked hard, shuttling through the bushes, burying its head and sniffing the scent of the snow, trying to find the snow rabbit's nest or the trail of the snow fox. But the gradually shifting sun in the sky seems to indicate that all of this is just in vain. Kuchulu couldn't help but feel a bit disappointed. If there are not enough prey today, the winter for the population will be too difficult, and many people may die. The elderly. Wu Wu, the snow wolf, led by a long rope, suddenly turned around and called out to Kuchulu, stopping and spinning. Is there a situation? Kuchulu quickly stepped forward and knelt down next to the snow wolf, gently brushing the snow on the ground with his big hands. After the newly fallen soft snow on the surface has faded away, animal footprints are prominently visible on the previously hardened snow layer beneath it. This is the footprint of the ice yak. Kuchulu immediately recognized the owner of the footprints, and his heart pounded wildly in his chest. He has a conjecture that if it were the footprints of ice yaks Kuchulu moved his hands together, sweeping away all the snow next to his footprints, and more footprints appeared. The deep and shallow footprints of the yak continue to extend forward. Sure enough. Kuchulu was overjoyed in his heart. He knew that yaks in the ice field lived in groups and were not easily able to move alone. Whenever he found them, they would become a group. Ice field yaks are covered in thick fur and are very cold resistant. They feed on shrubs and mosses. Due to their weak combat power, they often appear in the depths of the ice fields where there are few living organisms. At the same time, their snow.white fur can easily blend into the environment, making it difficult for predators to notice. Kuchulu suppressed his inner excitement and forced himself to calm down. His rich hunting experience and methods have never been valued by him like this moment. He led the snow wolf and searched for the footprints of the yak step by step. After walking about a kilometer, I slightly climbed a small slope and saw a relatively lush thicket in front of Kuchulu. In that thicket, there is a group of ice yaks. It's all ours. We have to take it all away. Kuchulu murmured. What are you taking with you? A slightly rusty barbarian language sounded from Kuchulu's left side, and Kuchulu's body stiffened. Turning his head, he saw a pair of golden vertical pupils peeking out from the snowdrift on his left side, with a big mouth that was almost opening to the base of his ear. I've been waiting for you for a long time. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Small Trial Ox Knife You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Small Trial Ox Knife The hunting mentioned by White Dragon's mother Rosia is not about catching yaks or anything. A large amount of blood and bones gave birth to a lush shrub, and the resulting pack of ice yaks has long been considered her property by Rosia. Taking one's own things, also known as hunting. Upon hearing Long Ma's logic, Theos immediately understood her intention. It was a test. 
Therefore, Theos first used his field of vision to search for targets at the entrance of the dragon nest and locked in this group of barbarians. Then prepare to take advantage of their dispersal and find a lone one to start with. It seems that my breath is quite restrained Theos felt quite proud in his heart. Through the panel, he saw the information of the lucky person in front of him. Kuchulu race. Barbarian level. Sixth level warrior specialization. Cold resistance explanation. The cruel survival laws of the north often give birth to the strong. The young Kuchulu has already possessed considerable combat power, and the cold environment has given him the expertise of cold resistance. Dragon. Kuchulu's less intelligent brain twisted a few times, thinking of a terrifying possibility, and he exclaimed in silence. The joy of seeing ice yaks is completely replaced by fear. I answered correctly, but there is no reward. Theos no longer gave Kuchulu a chance to react, kicking his legs and throwing his claws forward in front of him. Kutulu was able to dodge to the side. But a magical scene appeared, as Theos suddenly twisted his body in a strange posture in the air, paired with his wings, and the direction of his attack changed completely, running towards Kuchulu's heart. Dragon Dance Drama Faced with the sudden change in attack posture of Theos, Kuchulu was clearly caught off guard. But his relatively rich combat experience played a crucial role at a critical moment. Kuchulu bent his knees and collapsed on his back. After falling to the ground, he exerted force on his waist and legs, leaping and widening the distance on the snow. At this moment, his snow wolf fiercely charged towards Theos, who only waved his dragon claws. The snow wolf sobbed and was knocked down, unable to move. The flawless white snow appeared with a prominent bloodstain. Despite trying to dodge as much as possible, Theos' dragon claws still touched Kuchulu's chest, cutting through his leather jacket and causing three deep scratches. The deliberate surprise attack did not directly kill this barbarian, and Theos was not surprised. Despite being a giant dragon with stronger combat power than humans of the same level, it is still impossible to chop fruits and vegetables at level 5 against level 6. Most importantly, Theos still lacks combat experience, so he plans to play a few more moves with this barbarian and practice dragon dance. Dragon dance is not a dance, but a dragon clan routine similar to the previous life's catching enemy fist. When Theos obtained this skill, he automatically knew the movements of each move. His mind spun like lightning, and Theos took a breath, his body suddenly exerting force. Come again. Kankan -Kan stabilized his figure, but Kuchulu was forced to be left and right by the oppressed Theos, feeling extremely embarrassed. Losing his lead in battle was like being passive step by step. Alina. Kuchulu let out a roar, and his ferocity flowing in his blood was ignited. At the cost of adding another wound, he waved his arm and forced Theos back. Taking advantage of this gap, Kuchulu finally had the opportunity to pull out his bone battle axe. Feeling the weapon, Kuchulu felt a slight sense of security. With weapons, perhaps one can strive for vitality. Even killing this young dragon is not impossible. Kuchulu's brain quickly traced a possibility he had never thought of before. But soon, reality struck him hard. Clever, too clever. Theos, who has wings and can borrow strength out of thin air, is too flexible. Whenever Kuchulu tried to swing his battle axe and hit him, Theos could dodge in time and leave a new wound for Kuchulu, just like a cat playing with a mouse. Even if Theos accidentally hit him due to his lack of skills, the battle axe could only leave a shallow mark on the scales of the golden dragon. In no time, Kuchulu was already like a blood man. As the ferocity that was ignited gradually subsided, due to excessive blood loss and loss of strength, Kuchulu became desperate. There has never been a close match, and even the outbreak of war in the middle of Kuchulu was the result of Theos deliberately not releasing the dragon's power. It's almost over, if it's too late, things will change. Theos thought to himself. He didn't forget the barbarian in front of him and his companions behind him. Akunda. Kuchulu shouted vigorously, 
hoping that his master could come and save him at this last critical moment. He began to hate his foolishness and regretted not calling for help earlier. It's already late. Theos pronounced a verdict on the behavior of this young barbarian warrior. Dragon Dance The dragon dance scene erupted with all its might, and Theos limbs, wings, tail, teeth, and dragon horns turned into weapons, attacking Kuchulu one after another. As one dragon and one person passed by, Kuchulu was completely transformed. Turning around to see Kuchulu's body, Theos remained silent. He, who is already deeply in crisis, does not have the extra mood to show mercy to others. Dragon Blood Power With a slight movement in his mind, Theos activated this skill for the first time. Blood Points Plus 8 The illusory panel unfolds before my eyes, and Theos's message is as follows. Theos Austin Rodfield, Race Mutated Golden Dragon, Inglong Bloodline, Level Level 5 Dragon Bloodline Level Dragon Transforming Stage, 1 out of 5, Blood Points 8 out of 100 Skills Dragon Transformation Classic, Beginner, Dragon Dance Drama, Beginner, Dragon Blood Throne Specialty None, sure enough, it's still coming so fast, Theos felt a slight sense of joy in his heart. Dragon Blood Power, after using the skill, can earn blood points on the creature. But when the skill is activated, the target cannot resist in their heart. Even if I die, I don't have any resistance in my heart, well, that's reasonable, Theos thought. If we continue like this, we should be able to advance quickly, right? I don't know what the effect will be then Theos seriously suspected that his bloodline system should be a product of the fusion of the dragon bloodline and the dragon lineage. After all, the inheritance nature of the dragon can also be considered as an auxiliary hanging. What era is it, still using traditional dragon traditions for inheritance? Just as Theos was still pondering, a strong sense of crisis surged in his heart, and subconsciously, his body tilted. With a, do, sound, Theos only felt a pain in his left arm. He lowered his head and saw an arrow piercing through the scales on his arm and entering his body. The shaft left behind was still trembling slightly with its tail feathers. It's broken. Theos secretly called it a mess. The battle against Kuchulu did not take long. Although it was not intentionally concluded quickly, the whole process only lasted for one or two minutes. I didn't expect someone to arrive so soon. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Several more piercing sounds came from the air, and this time, prepared Theos did not give him a chance. He turned over and dodged the incoming arrows, quickly distancing himself. Kuchulu. The person who secretly attacked appeared from a distant expanse of white snow. After seeing Theos retreat, they quickly walked to Kuchulu, who was already dead on the ground, with a sorrowful expression on their face. The newcomer has a burly figure and is the master mentioned by Kuchulu, the leader of this group of barbarians. Akunda. End of this chapter. Chapter 5. Blood Points. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 5 Blood Points Seos quickly retreated while the visitor inspected the fallen Kuchulu. There's no way, the newcomer is a tough guy, and his information has already appeared in front of Theos. Akunda Race. Barbarian Level. Tenth Level Warrior Specialization. Cold Resistance and Strength Enhancement Explanation A quite outstanding warrior among the barbarians of the north, his long-term hunting activities have polished his combat skills and obtained the expertise of strengthening his strength. Without a doubt, he is already one of the outstanding elite warriors. Akunda is a level 10 warrior and already possesses two specialties. Theos thought to himself that he would never be his opponent. Expertise is a special ability that professionals on the continent of Lothia will acquire when their strength reaches a certain level, which greatly increases their own abilities. There are many factors that affect acquiring expertise, including but not limited to knowledge, training, environment, and even bloodline. The specific mechanism is unknown, 
but based on the situation of many professionals in Lothar, the general situation is as follows. Level 1.6, Career Level. One Specialty Position Level 7.12, Elite. Two Specialized Positions Level 13.18, Master Level. Three Specialization Positions Each Level 6 will have a Specialization, and people can only obtain fewer, not more, and the specific level of expertise obtained is uncertain. According to the level of expertise, professionals divide their strength levels into three major stages. Professional level, elite level, and master level, indicating the importance of expertise. Akunda in front of him is undoubtedly a strong person. For Theos, who is currently a young dragon. Bite your teeth and use your hands to pull out the arrow that has been shot into your upper arm, bringing out a blood flower. The scales of the young dragon are not very tough, but they still have a decent defensive effect. Akunda's secret arrow did not cause much damage. After all, Akunda is a warrior, not a skilled archer or ranger in archery. Until he retreated to a safe distance and was convinced that the other party could not catch up with him, Theos stopped. He felt that the other party had no intention of pursuing him for revenge. The fact is, Akunda does not intend to pursue it. Kuchulu's body is already in tatters and cannot be saved. The young barbarian paid the price for his carelessness, but had no choice. Faced with a dragon, his experience was not enough to save him. Reaching out his hand, Akuda took off a string of pendants from Kuchulu's chest. The pendant is adorned with three-inch-long teeth, which were the result of Kuchulu's first solo hunting. It is his coming-of-age gift, and Akunda wants to bring it back. Standing up, Akunda glanced at Theos in the distance. Although he doesn't know why a golden dragon appeared here, Akunda knows he must leave as soon as possible. Killing a young dragon may not be difficult, but the result could be everyone dying. Although he doesn't know if there are adult dragons nearby, he can't gamble. Ow! Suddenly, a thunderous dragon roar echoed through the valley. The sound was like thunder. The yak herd, which had just been unaffected by the fight between Theos and the barbarians, was now in chaos. They were all lying on the ground together, lamenting, losing control of their urine and defecation, and applying farm manure to their feeding grounds. Damn it! Akunda's face was ugly, and he couldn't care about the golden dragon anymore. He quickly turned around and left. But he did not directly return to the original path, but instead took a detour around his own path. Because the dragon roar came from behind him. It should be Long Mama who started from behind. Theos can probably guess what happened, but he doesn't know why Rosia took action. But it doesn't matter, he has already completed his task. A barbarian must be enough to handle the task. Idol is also idle. After confirming Akunda's departure, Theos returned to the position where he had just fought, and there was also a snow wolf here. Dragon Blood Power Blood Points Plus One Apply skills to the snow wolf that was just killed by hand and earn another point. No matter how small the mosquito legs are, they are still flesh. Don't waste them. After cleaning the battlefield, Theos considered whether to go over to Dragon Mom's place and see if he could steal a few chickens while the chaos was going on. It's not easy to find barbarians who are usually alone. Before Theos could leave, a shadow drifted in the sky. Pop it. Pop it. Two objects fell from the sky on the snow, and upon seeing them, Theos saw two dead barbarians. They have several significant wounds on their bodies, one missing in the east and one missing in the west. Next, a massive body with a length of 20 meters and a wingspan of over 30 meters landed on the ground, carrying a cold wind and raising a snowflake. Mother, exclaimed Theos quickly. Theos, you're very good. Rosia nodded in satisfaction as she saw the flesh and blood blurred barbarians on the ground. The self-proclaimed kind that hearted golden dragon had cruelly killed a human, and in her eyes, her son seemed to have begun to transform. But she didn't know that Jean Long had already changed his soul inside his body. 
Thea's kindness is much more flexible than other golden dragons, you three have all completed your hunting, truly deserving of me. The Lord of the White Cliffs and the Children of the Great Rosia. Rosia folded her wings, and Theos only saw the two figures that had just been obscured by Dragon Mother's body, which were Millis and Kavi. They also had a lot of blood sticking to their bodies, and there were even drops of blood dripping from their mouths. Unlike Theos, who had only been hit by one arrow, Millis and Kavi had many sharp blade wounds on their bodies, and they were now bowing their heads. It seems that the battle between my younger siblings is not easy. Theos used his system and quickly glanced at the two barbarians on the ground, both of whom were level 5. Immediately, they quietly mobilized the dragon blood power and shared their labor achievements. Blood points plus 0 0.1. Blood points plus 0 0.1. How could it be so rare? Theos was somewhat surprised, if he had any realization. The so dot called bloodline points may be the highest for each creature when collected for the first time, and collecting the same creature again will greatly reduce it. Of course, this conjecture still needs to be verified. Millis and Kavi, your bravery deserves praise, but you lack the patience that predators should have. Rosia quietly commented on her biological children's first hunting, which can be considered as fulfilling her obligation to raise them. Theos could already guess that they rushed forward impatiently without waiting for the barbarians to be completely alone, to the point where they were surrounded by other barbarians. Otherwise, if you hit level 5 at level 5, as a dragon, you wouldn't be so embarrassed, even if it's a white dragon. I guess in the end, Long Mama helped. Millis and Kavi have relatively low intelligence, and their combat skills are basically no different from those of beasts. I'm afraid the dragon mother Rosia was also the same when she was a child. These three barbarians are your prey, let's make it your dinner, Rosia said generously today. Upon hearing this, Millis and Kavi immediately rushed towards the body and turned around to look at Theos with pride. Sample, yesterday you took the lead. In terms of speed, we are still faster. Mother, I am willing to offer you my prey. Sayos ignored his younger brother and sister's small movements and respectfully lowered his head to Rosia. There's no way, he can kill Kuchulu without any psychological burden, but still can't perhaps inside, there is still a human soul at work. I accept your kindness. You're very kind, my son. But it's just the two of you who can't compare to your big brother's filial piety. Rosia ignored Thea's caution, all she wanted was his loyalty. A inexplicable reprimand made Millis and Kavi dumbfounded, feeling quite aggrieved. Damn it, you dragon fart spirit. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Hope of Escape You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Hope of Escape After enjoying the spoils of war presented by Theos, Rosia couldn't help but express herself, allowing Theos to eat one of the northern yaks. She still values her golden dragon son very much. After eating dry and wiping clean, the dragon family of four waved their wings and took off back to the cave in the white cliff. Only a patch of blood on the ground tells the story of what happened here. Perhaps next year, the shrubs here will become even more lush, right? When they returned home, one big, three small, and four dragons each found an open space to lie down. The life of a dragon is simple and boring, hunting, eating, and then sleeping. They will heal wounds, grow, and become stronger in their sleep. This is the irrational race. When ordinary humans are still training hard and racking their brains for a skill, dragons can easily grow to the level they can look up to just by sleeping. The cold cave fell silent, adding a hint of coldness, with only a few sniffles echoing one after another. Listening to Bai Long and his wife sleeping soundly, Zayos couldn't help but feel a bit envious. He can't sleep yet. Sleeping can certainly increase strength, but it's not fast enough, Theos doesn't have that much time. Closing his eyes, Theos slowly calmed himself down. In a dark consciousness, a circuit suddenly lit up. Immediately, a fluorescent airflow appeared and slowly flowed along this circuit. 
Hualong Jing. The third skill of the system. After triggering the system, Thias had already attempted to use the Dragon Sutra, and after several days of exploration, he was now able to use it proficiently. The So. called Dragon Transformation Classic is very similar to the martial arts techniques in previous novels, using spiritual power to stimulate the production of true qi that flows along a fixed vein in the body, subtly enhancing Thias' body. Thias called it Dragon Transformation True Qi. After passing through the acupoints in his body that were completely different from humans, the true qi came to Thias's mind. In Thea's spiritual vision, there is actually a black mist hovering here. Whenever the true energy passes through this black mist, a tiny mist is attracted and collides with the true energy of the Chaohua dragon, then disappears. That's right, this black mist is the dragon curse that Rosia, the mother of dragons, cast on Thea's during her dragon egg period. The dragon mantra is a malicious technique carefully prepared by the five-colored dragon mother Tiamat for enslaving the metal dragon, which has been passed down in the inheritance of the five-colored evil dragon. The only reason for using the dragon mantra is based on dragon blood, so there must be a significant difference in strength to succeed. However, the metal dragon takes care of its own children much better than the evil dragon, so using the dragon mantra to truly control the metal dragon is rare. Originally, there were no accidents, and even if poor Thea survived, it would be more difficult to live than to die, but now everything is different. With the true qi of dragon transformation, the dragon curse can be solved. Zayos only waited for enough true energy to transform into a dragon, and then he hit it with one strike, allowing the dragon to fly when the sky was high. However, Long Mama is too powerful, and in order to escape in the end, she still needs to prepare a hand of cards with a longing for freedom, Thias slowly fell asleep six months later. Winter goes and summer comes. Although the cold northern ice sheet does not have the traditional summer, it is during the peak of the solar god's divine power in the year of the lawyer continent. The tidal fluctuations of the god's divine power create seasonal changes throughout the lawyer continent, and even the northern ice sheet welcomes a rare warm month of the year at least relative to other months. A portion of the solid ice began to melt, converging into a babbling stream. The cold-resistant pine trees and northern spruce finally had a chance to shake off their snow and show off their greenery. On the flat ground in front of the entrance of the white cliff dragon nest, Theos was performing strange movements, one after another with different postures, sometimes slow and sometimes rapid, seamlessly connecting with each other, creating an indescribable beauty. Ha! Huh. Theos let out a light breath and finished today's morning exercise. What he just practiced was dragon dance, which is different from being adaptable in actual combat. In daily practice, he pays more attention to physical training. Every time I play a few sets, I feel exhausted, but Theos saved a few points today and just warmed up. After half a year of diligent cultivation and continuous training, the system shows that Dragon Dance has changed from beginner to proficient. Time should be around, Thea said to himself. Since her first hunting six months ago, Rosia has been taking three young dragons for practical combat every few days. Today is also hunting day. Estimating that Dragon Mother and her younger siblings were about to wake up, Thea twisted his increasingly slender neck after practicing stretched his wings, and jumped down from the white cliff. In about half an hour, Thias caught four northern yaks and returned. Since he was determined to perform well, Thias naturally took the initiative to take charge of breakfast for his family. In no time, there were sounds coming from inside the cave. The white dragon family woke up. Ah! Big brother, you still got up so early. Kavai stood up first, his sleepy eyes perked up as soon as he saw the fresh yaks on the ground. Good morning, big brother. Following closely behind Kavai, Millis, who had always been irritable, also said hello to Theos, but her heart was. Damn, why can he grow so fast even after sleeping so little? This is not a dragon. Regardless of the thoughts of the younger siblings, Theos still expressed satisfaction with their greetings. Over the past year, Theos has provided them with numerous, big-stick education, sessions. 
When the three dragons gathered together, it was obvious that Theos had already grown a whole circle larger than Millis and Cavey. Of course, in order to maintain his elder brother's position, Theos will not use force alone, Cavey. How did Big Brother educate you? We can only eat when Mother moves first. Seeing Cavey unable to resist his natural instincts and opening his mouth to eat, Theos quickly pulled Cavey away with a tail, looking like a Big Brother. Come with me, mother, breakfast is ready. Please have your meal, said Theos respectfully as he lowered his body into the cave. Mother, breakfast is ready. Please have your meal, Cavey and Millis said to the cave, imitating each other. Oh Theos, my good son, you're still so reassuring. Rosia's massive figure slowly emerged from the icy cave, with a smile on her face. Seeing their biological mother like this, Kavai and Millis couldn't help but feel angry in their hearts. That's right, since Theos defected to Rosia, at some point, the White Dragon family has been on the social ladder of Rosia, Theos, Millis, and Kavai. The young White Dragon with low intelligence couldn't figure out the exact principle, but Theos was clear in his heart. Just kidding, I have a lot of tricks up and down here in fact, it is true that Rosia, as a notorious dragon and even a notorious white dragon among the dragons, how could she withstand such a test? In just a few days of Theos's defection, Rosia's greed, vanity, laziness, and other characteristics were greatly satisfied, and even children who were usually not at ease no longer needed to worry about themselves. With a joyful mood, Ms. Rosia had a good appetite today and pulled two of the yaks in front of her, starting to enjoy them. Long Mama ate an extra head, so naturally there should be dragons eating less. As for who it was, Theos didn't care. He naturally took over one of the remaining two yaks and left one for his younger siblings to share. End of this chapter Chapter 7 Tajaborg You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Tajaborg After the meal ended, the loving family from the northern ice plain set out. Four dragons rose from the white cliff and spread their wings, flying towards the east. It has to be said that such a high frequency of actions is too high for the dragon. Generally speaking, dragons only take significant actions every few years or even a decade, and those who are more diligent only take action once every few months. Sleep is the main melody of dragon life. Rosia's frequent movements over the past six months have made Theos suspect that his mother has ulterior motives. Today's sunshine is just right and Sayos, flapping his wings in the air, can clearly see everything on the ice sheet. The wild rabbit fluttering in the bushes, the hidden dormant snow wolf, and the winter bear that came out hungry for a month or two to search for food all have nowhere to hide under the natural super-strong vision of the dragon. Four dragons searched for a moment, but did not see the figures of the barbarians. It was only after flying over several snow-capped mountains that dilapidated villages and watchtowers came into view. These were all masterpieces of the three young dragons, including Theos. In the past six months, the hunting range of the White Dragon family has mainly been to the east of the White Cliff, mainly consisting of the northern barbarians they encountered before. According to Rosia's instructions, every few days, Theos would raid small villages of the northern barbarians with Millis and Kavai, and attack the lonely northern barbarians who were hunting outside. When the barbarians in the northern regions shrink to a slightly larger settlement and strengthen their defense, Rosia will come forward to sweep it out. Today, Theos and others are about to destroy the last medium-sized settlement of barbarians near the White Cliff. It's a giant dragon. Those damn dragons are here again. After flying over the destroyed villages for a while, Theos finally found a group of about ten barbarians in the White Mountains and Black Waters. Blow the horn quickly. Half a year of harassment has made the barbarians in the north very vigilant. The leader of the team immediately ordered the sound of the warning horn, and his deputy quickly followed suit. The sound of the woo-woo horn echoed through the mountains and drifted to the rear. Follow me. Theos ordered his younger brother and sister to follow him, waving their wings and unleashing a sudden force that made him rush towards the barbarian squad below like a bullet. 
Millis and Cavey exchanged a glance and quickly followed. Spread out and go back to Tajiborg. The leader gave up his plan to resist when he saw the huge creature following the three dragons and ordered the team to scatter and flee, one by one. Ignoring the despair of the barbarians, Theos accelerated and plunged all the way from high altitude without slowing down, heading straight towards the barbarian leader. No matter how the barbarian leader moved his position, Theos could always adjust in the sky, and in the blink of an eye, one person and one dragon collided. Boom! The violent collision stirred up the surrounding snow and blew out a cloud of snow mist. Without waiting for the snow to fall, the figure of the barbarian leader emerged from the snow, with blood dripping down like drops. Upon closer inspection, he had already lost one arm. He still dodged me, Theos thought to himself. He had a commanding and powerful attack, but in the end, he was still dodged by barbarians. In mid-air, Theos learned about the level of the barbarian leader. Level 8. Through the system panel, which was not particularly high, and his expertise was also, cold resistance. After six months of training, Sayos has already reached level 6. Playing level 6 against level 8 is not considered dangerous for Sayos, and the opponent does not have combat type expertise. Without a single blow, Theos set off and continued to press down, one person and one dragon writhing in a ball on the snow. At this point, Millis and Kavai had already flown down and attacked the other scattered barbarians. The strongest leader was entangled by Sayos, and the remaining were only ordinary barbarians at levels 3 and 4. The two siblings were killing them. Longmorosia did not take any action, as if watching a play in the air. This low dot level battle did not require her to worry. End the battle as soon as possible, my children, don't be afraid of getting hurt. Rosia didn't have much patience, as long as the third young dragon wasn't seriously injured, everything else was not worth caring about. Longma spoke up, and the third young dragon had to increase its attack and no longer restrain. In just a few minutes, the battle is coming to an end. Theos pushed the barbarian leader back with one paw, but his tail hooked onto his left foot and pulled him back, replacing it with another paw. The barbarian leader was greatly frightened in his heart, waving his axe to block it. Theos chuckled and opened his mouth wide, breath out the flames. A fiery red flame shot out from Sayoza's mouth, enveloping the barbarian in front of him. In the blink of an eye, the barbarians became like coke. As a giant dragon, why wouldn't you vomit? The barbarian leader who has been fighting hand to hand with Theos probably forgot that the target of his battle is a giant dragon. Under normal circumstances, although dragons have strong physical fitness, physical combat is generally a secondary means, and if you can use breathing, you can use breathing, after all, the powerful breathing of dragons is very simple and direct. Release the tail and let go of the body, Theos changed his breath, and then his heart twitched slightly exerting the power of dragon blood. Blood points plus zero. The panel reported a message, and Theoslin's face suddenly turned even darker than the coke in front of him. I didn't control the fire well enough, and the corpse in front of me can no longer collect blood point Sayos, who was angry in his heart, had no choice but to remain calm and continue to search for other fleeing barbarians. With the addition of Theos, the battle quickly ended, almost one or two times, and the barbarian team was completely destroyed. Apply the power of dragon blood to several barbarian corpses, one by one, blood points plus 0 0.1. Blood points plus 0 0.2. After a series of messages, Theos probably only received less than one point. Unfortunately, the barbarian leader just now, Theos thought to himself. Don't waste your time, come with me. Seeing that the children had already annihilated all the barbarians, Rosia immediately urged them. Due to the barbarians sounding the horn of caution just now, it is necessary to arrive at Taji Castle as soon as possible and launch an attack. Yes. The third young dragon responded, no longer delaying, flapping its wings and flying back to its mother's side. Seeing that Theos not only easily defeated the barbarian leader, but also remained unharmed, 
Rosia narrowed her eyes meaningfully. Without saying much, Rosia and her three siblings continued on their journey, flying over the peak in front of them. A stone fortress measuring several miles appeared in front of them, which was the Taji fortress among the barbarians. Tajiborg is built from rocks under the ice layer, located between two valleys, and is the gateway to the northern barbarian homeland. Bazul. After half a year of exploration by the three dragons, the castle has many barbarian elites. Thea speculates that there are at least ten barbarians above level twelve. This kind of tough young dragon is helpless, but when Rosia comes out, it doesn't matter anymore. There are also several barbarian fortresses that Rosia destroyed before. The third young dragon was waiting for the dragon mother to descend to earth, but to her surprise, Rosia stopped after looking at Tajibayo. Fias, you'll take the lead. Long Ma's tone was unquestionable. Faced with Rosia's command, the young dragons were all very puzzled, but Thias had some speculations and dared not say much. Thias waved his wings and fell towards the stone castle. Watching Thias fall, Rosia sneered in her heart. She certainly didn't want Thias to die, she just wanted to enhance her understanding of her son. Fighting is undoubtedly the best way. End of this chapter Chapter 8 Rasha's Allies You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Rasha's Allies The Level 6 Sayos dare not stay in the air for a long time. When the high-dot-level barbarians in the stone castle come out, the Sayos in the air will be a living target. Therefore, Thias planned to land on the walls of the stone castle and use cover to navigate with the barbarians of the north. There are not many barbarians guarding the city wall, and Thias is confident that he can persist for a period of time, or in other words, make Long Ma feel like she has done her best the number of barbarians killed is not important. After carefully considering the purpose in his heart, Thias had a plan. Dragon The barbarians from the north on the walls of the stone castle shouted when they saw Theiston, and in a panic, they took out bows and arrows and shot them towards Theiston. Unfortunately, Thias did not live up to his wishes. Level 4, 6, 5, 11 Thias unfolded the system and silently recited the level of the northern barbarians on the city wall. Fortunately, there aren't too many high dot end barbarians. Although the barbarians had sounded the warning horn before, it only led to a leader going up to the city, and there was still room for operation. While scanning the level of the northern barbarians, Thias tossed and frolicked in the air, occasionally flashing arrows shot by the northern barbarians one by one. Due to his year-round practice of dragon dance, Thias has extremely strong muscle control over himself. Of course, the persimmons should be picked and squeezed first, while Thias attacked the northern barbarians at level 4 on one side of the city wall. Ah! The barbarian screamed in agony, unable to dodge the high-dot-speed dive of Thias, and fell to the ground with a paw, unable to survive. With one successful strike, Thias dared not stop, turned around and left the spot. He then flashed a few arrows, but unfortunately, one of them hit a barbarian on the ground and made the final cut. Mulu. The barbarians from the north on the side couldn't help but cry out in sorrow. Hurry up, run quickly, go call a few Aji. Aji, in barbarian language, refers to a warrior. Generally not a general term, but a specific term that must be recognized by barbarians, which is actually a level certification of strength by barbarians. Generally speaking, they are the leaders of barbarian teams. Time is tight, Thias cannot wait for all the high-dot-level barbarians in the stone castle to come out, otherwise it will be dangerous. Next, level 5. With a sudden wave of wings and combined with leg strength, Thias's body quickly thrust into the arms of another barbarian. Full body attack, like a small gyroscope, utilizes every position of the body to launch an attack. Due to different body structures, Thias can attack many parts. Before the leader of the 11th level barbarian arrived, Thias had already stopped and the barbarian in front of him collapsed like a torn cloth bag. Despicable Golden Dragon 
The barbarian leader spat out words that sounded like false accusations elsewhere, very angry. The bow and arrow that had long been aimed at in his hand loosened, and the arrow broke through Theos's scales and plunged into his body. Seos, who was hurt by the arrow, quickly dodged and found a gap, taking a big bite and breathing in the flames. The fan-shaped flames engulfed two low-level barbarians and barbarian leaders. Due to the eleven-level barbarians far exceeding the level of Sios, Sios dared not stop until he was silent. The energy of the dragon's breath lies between physics and magic, and is released by a mixture of substances stored in the special glands of the dragon's body through magic. It is very powerful, but at present, it is very difficult for Sios, who is still a young dragon, to use the breath. With just a little use, there is not a drop left. Alina. The flames dissipated, and the savage leader, who was completely charred but still intact, let out a roar and shook his hand, throwing the axe towards Theos. This hand was stuck when Theos had just finished his move, and he couldn't dodge enough to block it with his big arm. He was struck hard by an axe. It has to be said that the level difference is still too large. The barbarian leader's blow directly broke a big hole in Theos, with scales flying everywhere, which is very frightening. How dare you come here? The cunning dragon. The barbarians in the stone castle finally arrived and, led by a few Aji, rushed up to the city and rushed toward Zios. Boom! The fireball of the barbarian sorcerer hit the open space next to Sios, and the shattered ground stone scattered and hit Sios' scales. Theos crawled and hit at the other end of the city wall, but there was less and less space for him to dodge. For a moment, several arrows shot at him. Almost done, haven't you come yet? Theos thought to himself, guessing that Dragon Mother Rosia wanted to see all of his strength and didn't want him to be hidden, so not getting hurt was not enough. At present, I am in such a miserable situation. If I don't come again, I will really have to, dragon. There's also a dragon, it's an adult giant dragon, run. The barbarian who was besieging Theos suddenly noticed a darkness in the sky, and looked up to see three more dragons flying towards him. Destroy it. Dirty crawler. Rosia saw Theos being chased around like a mouse in the sewer, and his body was also severely injured before finally moving. Under the attraction of Theos, almost all the barbarians inside the stone castle came to the vicinity of the city wall. Cold ice spits its breath. Long Mama took a deep breath, and the snowflakes falling in the sky were all stagnant, swirling one after another. Immediately, a huge stream of frost and cold air was spewed out. Rosia's breath was not as short and powerless as Theas's. Her breath covered the entire city of the stone castle, whether intentionally or unintentionally. Theas was also slightly affected, feeling stiff and almost unable to move. It stimulated the circulation of dragon-like true chi in his body, which was better. Before long, Long Mama put away her vomit. Theos turned his head and looked at the entire city, as if it had turned into an ice sculpture. The barbarians of the north were frozen in place one by one, with no trace of life visible, but with no trace of vitality left. Well done, Theos, Rosia fell to the top of the city and smashed the barbarian ice sculpture, then spoke again. You should rest well in the next few days, and we'll need your help in a few more days. Still working hard. If it were still the barbarians from the north, then only the barbarian lair, Bazul, would be left. Theos guessed Rosia's plan, but before he could come up with a reason, the pain on his body interrupted his thinking. It hurt so much. Theos pulled out the arrows pierced into his body one by one, bringing out a few scales. No matter how much you try to please, you will finally be sent under the dragon fence. Life and death are under control, but you still need to escape as soon as possible. Theos made a plan in his heart. Come out, Rosia suddenly spoke. The great lord of the White Cliff, mother of the dragon, and disaster of the north. Rosia's crown, poisonous Ialdon greets you, wishing your reputation to be passed down to the north forever. A voice of vicissitude sounded from the inside of Taji Castle. 
Theos and the white dragon siblings looked towards the voice and saw a figure wearing a fur wizard robe walking out of the castle. It turned out to be a green skin orc. You have indeed arrived as promised. I think we can have a good discussion about our alliance. Aldon lived on a wooden staff that was even taller than him, looking precarious. But Theos was wary in his heart, as he had already seen the information of the person in front of him. Aldon race. Orcs level. Nineteenth priest specialization. Powerful spells, surging mana, clear mind explanation. As a prophet of the powerful orc tribe. The Blackstone tribe, Aldon possesses immense strength. Or rather, it can be said that the Blackstone tribe was only strong due to the presence of Aldon. Three powerful spell-like specialties make Aldon have few opponents below the legendary level, but as he grows older, can he go further? Dragon Mama is forming an alliance with the Orc tribe. There was not enough time to be shocked by Aldon's strength, but it was Aldon's identity that made Theos think a lot. In the past six months, Rosia has frequently led them to fight against barbarians, which turned out to be a different plan. End of this chapter Chapter 9 Dragon Mother's Conspiracy You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Dragon Mother's Conspiracy, You seem to be late, Rosia said, feeling very dissatisfied with Aldon's recent appearance. You haven't shown your sincerity. The Dragon Mother at level 18 had a bad tone and did not show any courtesy towards Aldon, which was not surprising to Theos. The elderly orc prophet, as a nineteenth-level priest, is one level higher than the Dragon Mother, but as a giant dragon, this level is not a big deal. After all, half-step legend is not a legend. The classification of job levels in the continent of Lothar is not complicated. Apart from dividing each level into a large stage of professional level, elite level, and master level based on the number of specialties, breaking through to level 19 can be called quasi-legendary, while levels 20 and beyond are legendary. Legend, as its name suggests, is a top-notch powerhouse on the continent of lawyer and even in all material worlds. A legendary professional is a power that can change the situation in any field, and the gap between him and an ordinary professional is like the gap between a dragon beast and a giant dragon. Respected Rosia, I think I have the power to explain. Aldon didn't panic when facing the dragon mother, but calmly spoke slowly. He only saw that Rosia, who was a white dragon, had brought a golden dragon, and a hint of surprise flashed on his face. Your strength is amazing, but it seems like you missed a few escaped mice. Upon hearing Aldon's words, Dragon Mother and Theos looked towards the back of Tajiborg, and indeed, as he said, on the other side of the direction of the four dragons' attack, many barbarian corpses were lying on the roadside. It seems that some barbarians are trying to escape and bring the message to Bazul in the rear. Before the final action, we still need to hide. All right, Orc Priest, I understand your sincerity. Dragon Mother knew she had wrongly accused the other party, but it didn't matter, and she said, I think I need to collect some compensation for this and confirm the content of the agreement again. Of course. Aldon nodded and his emaciated hands shook the wooden staff a few times. In a flash of space, a wooden box appeared in front of everyone and fell to the ground. The lid of the wooden box that was hit was opened, and it was filled with shiny gold coins. Several coins even fell out and circled on the ground. Upon seeing the gold coins, both Rosa and Theos, Millis, and Kvi instinctively stopped breathing. The imprint from deep within the bloodline makes the dragon almost powerless against treasures. Theos is fine, but it's Millis and Kvi who are about to drool. But these treasures obviously didn't belong to the young dragons. The dragon mother opened her mouth and swallowed all the gold coins in front of her. These treasures are nothing more than a strand of hair on a yak compared to the treasure trove of those barbarians like Bazul. Aldon saw the dragon's obsession with gold coins, and a faint smile flashed on his face. He said, Bazul is the stronghold of the barbarians in front of us. They must have brought a lot of things from their desperate hometown in the cold winter. 
According to the agreed agreement, as long as you destroy Bazul, the barbarian's treasure trove will be your spoils of war. Very good, Rosia thought of the barbarian treasury, breathing heavily. Immediately negotiate the details of the action with the orc prophet. Sayos next to him listened to their conversation and finally understood their plan. Originally, the Sodot called Northern Barbarians were just a branch of the barbarian race, or an advanced team. In the northern part of the continent of Loyer, there are two protrusions, both of which are bitter cold regions. One is the harsh winter wilderness located in the east, the birthplace and true lair of barbarians, and the other is the great glacier to the west of the continent, north of the human kingdom and the Orc Empire. The northern ice sheet where Theos is located is also here. The great glacier is not adjacent to the harsh winter, but separated by a shattered sea. For some unknown reason, starting from 450 years in the Hien calendar, which is 40 years ago, the barbarians began to send out ethnic groups to cross the shattered sea, seek development in the great glacier, and establish a base. Bazul was the base established over the past 40 years. The plan of the Dragon Mother and the Orc Prophet was to destroy this new group of guests and drive them into the sea. According to Aldon, the landing of the barbarians has threatened the development of the Blackstone tribe. Dragon Mama's greed for treasure is understandable, but the Orc's intention to destroy the barbarians seems somewhat forceful. Theos analyzed in his heart and felt that something was wrong, after all, the Blackstone tribe was not close to here. The prolonged harassment has already made the barbarians very vigilant. In ten days, a new batch of support ships from the barbarians will arrive in Bazul. We must destroy Bazul and destroy their dock before that. So, in six days' time, I will lead the young men of the Blackstone tribe to welcome your arrival in Bazul. Aldon and Rosia had a final discussion, but only they knew what they were thinking in their hearts. As the negotiations came to an end, Theos also set off inside the stone castle and intensified his efforts to harvest a wave of blood points. Unfortunately, the Dragon Mother shattered most of the ice sculpture, leaving little to use. Go back, my children. Rosia spread her wings and blew a cold wind, soaring into the air. The third young dragon quickly followed. Watching the figure of the giant dragon disappear into the distance, the orc prophet Aldan, who remained in place, stared blankly and naturally muttered to himself, so, with four dragons and over a thousand barbarians, it's almost enough. Returning to the cave, Theos first grabbed a yak and ate it, but the dragon mother didn't say anything about it. After all, Theos needed food energy to recover from his injury, and then the four dragons each found a place to rest. There will be another big battle in six days, and Theos needs to recover from his injuries as soon as possible and be prepared. The main force of the battle are Dragon Mama and Orcs. In theory, three young dragons should not be too dangerous when fighting against minions. But the reason for the Orc Prophet seems to be insufficient, which makes Theos very cautious. The situation may not be so simple by then, but this is also an opportunity Theos calls out the panel. Theos Austin Rodfield, Race Mutated Golden Dragon, Inglong Bloodline, Level Level 6 Dragon Bloodline Level Dragon Transforming Stage, 1 out of 5, Blood Points 99.6 slash 100 Skills Dragon Transformation Classic, Beginner, Dragon Dance Drama, Proficient, Dragon Blood Throne Specialty None although it has been accumulated for 6 months, there is still a slight gap in bloodline points, and we must further enhance our strength before the war. Thinking of this, Theos raised his head to look at his younger siblings and said, Millis, Cavey, come over here for a moment. What's wrong, brother? Although disturbing the rest can make the dragon's temper very irritable, six months of education from Zios still made the white dragon siblings dare not openly resist and can only stand up obediently. Dragon Blood Power Theos used his skills on two white dragons. Blood Points plus 0 0.2 Blood Points plus 0 0.2 Just right. That's enough to make up a hundred points. Theos breathed a sigh of relief in his heart, and if it wasn't enough, 
he could only forcefully go out and search for prey. All right, you guys go back. After using up the two tool dragons, Theos drove them away. The two siblings were not surprised because such things happened every one or two weeks for six months. That's right, blood points can be charged repeatedly when the object obeys. Novice on the road, please give more guidance. If the plot is delayed, we will try our best to speed it up. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 The Great War is Coming Soon You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 the Great War is coming soon since Theos discovered this from his younger brother and sister, he has been tirelessly picking up wool. Ah no, dragon hair, but unfortunately, except for the first time, there were more, and it took a long time to produce a little bit. In the future, we must gather a large group of relatives and harvest them fiercely. Theos thought to himself. He found that this is a method that can stably generate blood points, which is better than hunting. It's not that being a golden dragon has any lineup baggage, but rather that although it's easier and more direct to collect points after hunting, it's still more attractive than a one-dot-time deal. Moreover, as a young dragon, I am still very weak and may not even live to adulthood by flaunting myself everywhere. Putting aside future fantasies, Theos still has to face reality, and the battle in six days is very important. Breakthrough Theos gave instructions in his heart. In an instant, a strange force surged out of Theos' body, and the dragon transforming meridian within him began to move faster and faster, dissipating and merging into various parts of his body. The wounds left by the previous battle on his body were also rapidly healing. At the same time, Theos felt as if something was invisibly suppressing his power, feeling very frustrated. Until ten minutes later, accompanied by the growth of the dragon transformation true chi, as if water had broken the cork of a bottle, Theos relaxed all over. It's done. Feeling the power on his body in detail, Theos was very pleased. He felt that his strength had more than doubled, and his perception of his body had also become more subtle. His thoughts moved slightly, and the data on the panel was as follows. Theos Austin Rodfield, Race Mutated Golden Dragon, Inglong Bloodline, Level 7th Level Dragon Blood and Vessel Rank Dragon Transformation Stage, 2 out of 5, Blood Points 0 slash 200 Skills Dragon Transformation Classic, Proficiently, Dragon Dance Drama, Proficiently, Dragon Blood Throne Specialization Terrifying Prestige The level has been raised to level 7, and the Dragon Transformation Classic has also become proficient, with much stronger control over the true chi of the Dragon Transformation. Seos clenched his left dragon claw into a fist, feeling that his strength could kill a level 7 barbarian without defensive skills with just one punch. And finally, I have a specialty. Terrifying Prestige The creatures within the designated surrounding area of the Golden Dragon are aware of their existence, causing them to panic. The degree of influence is related to mental strength and bloodline. Simply put, it is a domineering in domineering aura. With a breakthrough, Sayoza's injuries have improved by half, and with the circulation of dragon transformation chi, the remaining injuries should be healed soon. The most important thing is that after the breakthrough, the true energy of transforming dragons has increased. Now, the true energy of transforming dragons should be able to break the dragon curse cast by the dragon mother. At that time, take advantage of the chaos of the battle. Or in other words, make sure to make the battle chaotic. After a general calculation, Theos closed his eyes and fell into a deep sleep. Six days later early in the morning, it was still Theos preparing breakfast, and the White Dragon family finished their breakfast in a loving atmosphere and set off to fly towards Bazul. Passing over the already destroyed Taji Castle, flying for a while, one can see a town located on the far shore of the vast shattered sea, which is Bazul. The city of Bazul is surrounded by a stone city wall that is over two meters high, with a wooden watchtower built every twenty meters. The city wall and watchtower are already guarded by barbarians. There are large pastures on the outskirts of the town, 
but currently there is not a single barbarian in the pastures. Instead, a group of green-skinned orcs occupy this area, with about seven to eight hundred people. It seems that the timid barbarian has shrunk into the turtle shell, Rosia said as she landed with the three dragons of Theos towards the group of orcs. Go in, esteemed Rosia, take your crown. Aldon stood in front of the crowd and bowed to the dragon. Beside him, there was also an orc warrior wearing a hood who saluted along. Aldon, follow the plan. Rosia glanced at the orc who was covering his face with a hood and did not feel any danger from him, so she no longer cared. On the contrary, Theos took an extra look. It seemed to have noticed Theos's observation, and the hooded orc nodded slightly. Let your troops go first, of course, my children will also come together. As you wish, Aldon signaled to the orcs to prepare for an attack. Under the gaze of everyone, the soldiers of the Blackstone tribe began to take action. It has to be said that the Blackstone tribe is truly a top-notch tribe in the Orc Empire. The seven or eight hundred orcs in front of them were divided into several hundred man teams under the command of the leader, and formed a formation at the forefront of the city. The first two hundred player teams are all dressed in iron armor and equipped with an iron shield, while the orcs at the back are dressed in leather armor made of warcraft fur and have long swords and giant axes in their hands. Theos had been secretly observing using the system for a long time, and he found that this group of orcs were all around level 3 and 4, and there were more than 10 orc officers around level 10, which can be said to be very elite. In ordinary human towns, soldiers may only be at levels 1 or 2. And at the same level, at least two human soldiers are needed to deal with one orc warrior. Be careful of the barbarians' bows and arrows. Aldon gave instructions to the soldiers, charge directly. The orc warriors followed the orders of the prophets with reverence, holding up their shields and starting to run towards the city walls. The barbarians on the city walls and watchtowers also began to shoot arrows. Their archery skills were excellent, and the charging orcs would occasionally fall from the arrows. When the orc vanguard was still one or twenty steps away from the city wall, Aldon moved and gently shook the wooden staff in his hand, saying, Stone shaping. The wooden staff projected a magical energy and headed straight towards the city wall. The walls that were touched by the magical energy disintegrated one after another. For a while, many barbarians died and were in a state of embarrassment. The stone shaping technique of the four rings was actually cast in reverse in Aldon's hands, becoming an existence similar to the dissociation technique. Accompanied by the collapse of the city wall, the orc troops directly crossed the wall and engaged in battle with the panicked barbarian soldiers. For a while, the barbarians were constantly retreating. It's our turn. Theos called his younger brother and sister and swept towards the gap in the city wall. Lord Bazol's Hall. The caliph looked out the door with a heavy heart. As the leader of the expedition team sent by the barbarians to lead the overall situation in Binyuan, the caliph bears a great responsibility. The broken sea is full of dangers, and it is already very difficult for barbarians to cross from afar. The Bazul, which has been built for over thirty years, is now in danger of being destroyed at any time. In the past six months, orcs and dragons have been constantly encroaching on the strongholds of barbarians outside, and now it's finally Bazul's turn. Barbarians without reinforcements can only rely on this to delay the opponent's time. The recent reinforcements will take a few more days to arrive, leader, the enemy has already entered. A barbarian ran over from the door, with a burly figure. If Theos were present, he would definitely recognize his identity. This person was the master who hunted the barbarian for the first time, Akunda. Has everything been transferred yet? asked the caliph. As you said, they have all been transported to the ship, but our sheep and cattle cannot be transferred. It's okay if the cows and sheep can't turn around. First, load the critical supplies onto the ship and head towards the sea. You should also leave as soon as possible, and I'll hold them back. I'll go too. Akunda said firmly. His disciple was killed by the dragon, and he had long wanted revenge. End of this chapter